Hi friends, this is Andy from TechStore and in this video I'm going to be showing you the complete disassembly process of uh, the Dell Inspiron 3000 series of laptops that is the 3542 and the 3543. So in this process you'll be able to replace your DVD writer, your uh, hard drive, your RAM, your keyboard and the entire motherboard as well. We are not going towards the LED part, we've already done a video on that so kindly refer that but the entire the base part it will be disassembled in this particular video now if you have a laptop that looks like this the color might be a silver or black or blue All right and uh, once opened say it looks like this and it's mentioned uh, Inspiron 15 3000 series as mentioned here then uh, and also the base I'll show it here this is the way the base is this is the way the base is then you can apply this process uh, to your laptop. I need a screwdriver set as shown here and you need a prior. This prior is very easily available in the market area for around 10 rupees here in India. So the first thing that we need to do is flip open the battery. I'll show you how to open the battery here. Just right and left two notches and just lift the battery the battery comes out now the first thing uh, that we will do is uh, split open the keyboard for you uh, how exactly the keyboard is to be opened there are no screws whatsoever uh, to be opened for removing the keyboard so there are these one two three four five notches that you will see one here another one here 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 and here and uh, if you don't have a prior, you can actually take a screwdriver, a minus screwdriver pin and start, uh, there's a little notch here which you need to just press and uh, the keyboard will come out. Yeah. Just keep holding onto these so that they don't again fall back to the notch. Alright. So the keyboard as you can see is out now very gently keep it on the side and uh, this is the strip connector you need to open this particular uh, notch which is holding on to the strip connector just uh, pull it up as you can see that it's been pulled up and this is the keyboard for you just take another keyboard and uh, refit it onto your DIL 3542 or 3543 now let us now open all the screws that are visible over here and uh, before opening the screws let us actually remove the notches uh, that are there on different uh, strip connectors one is over here another one over here another one over here so there are three strip connectors so let us open them This one particularly you need to be a little put a little pressure on this. Alright. So now we've removed all the strip connectors. Let us remove these screws. One, two, three. Three screws are visible over here, they are all of the same size so need not worry, just remove the screws. Alright, so all the screws have been removed, let's now flip the laptop back. We have to remove a lot of screws over here too. Alright, so let's go to the hard drive and RAM enclosure. Uh, need to remove this one screw. We've already made a video showing you how to. This this particular screw is a little small, so keep it on the one side so it does not get mixed. And then uh, just push the entire enclosure. 
away from the thing and the enclosure comes away. Now you can see the hard drive, you can see the RAM, you can see the Wi-Fi chip. So RAM, let us remove the RAM here. Just the two notches, keep it on one side. This is one screw connecting to the screw, uh, screw connecting to the Wi-Fi LAN chip. Let's remove this one screw. This screw is again very small. Keep it on one side. And there are these two antenna wires which you need to remove. There are the markings which are available, uh, black and white. So when you're again putting back, you can actually. Now there's this one screw for removing the hard drive here. Uh, to remove this screw here. This again is a small screw, so keep it on one side. There are two sets of screws actually, big ones and small ones. And then slide it on the right side. The hard disk gives away. It's basically a 2.5 inches uh, SATA uh, slim laptop hard drive that you have to buy. And uh, you need to another, another two screws you have to open here, which gives away this enclosure. Take another hard drive and just put it back in. And the RAM that you have to buy is a DDR3L uh, 1600 MHz sodium memory available online on a lot of websites as well as our website Corsair or uh, Transcend, Zion, Kingston, anything is fine but it has to be a low voltage memory let's keep it on the side now you see some more screws here all the visible screws absolutely we have to remove but before that we will show you how to uh, Place the DVD writer. So anybody who is wanting to replace the DVD writer need not open all these screws. After the keyboard he can come here, this one small screw over here, it's a normal size screw and then take the prior or the screwdriver and just remove it. The DVD writer gives away, it's a SATA DVD writer, slim type, 9.5 mm to be precise. So we just need to buy a similar DVD writer and uh, replace the top of this particular DVD writer onto the new DVD writer. Remove this one screw, put it onto that new DVD writer and fit it back inside. Let's keep it on the one side. Now we have to entirely open the whole thing up so we need to remove all the visible screws that are there here. So let me start here. flip it and uh, need to now remove this entire top panel over here which has the touchpad also so if you want to replace the touchpad this is the way to go after removing all these screws uh, I need to use the prior or the minus screwdriver pin and start pluting so that uh, the entire top panel gives away so you will see this thing giving away the entire touchpad will give away so you want to replace the touchpad base uh, you can just take another of a similar kind and uh, just replace it come to the motherboard the motherboard is very much visible you can see this is the CMOS cell this is the speaker all right so now we need to remove these strip connectors over here just open the strip connector. We need to remove the motherboard now. Then we need to remove the VGA connector over here. Keep it on one side. 
Now there are these screws uh, which have this uh, triangular, uh, white triangular mark here like this. One, two, three, four, five. And this one screw over here. So all these screws have to be removed for the motherboard to be removed actually. Keep these screws on a completely different side because these are motherboard screws. Ideally remove this one also. Alright, so the motherboard is in hand now and uh, you can see you can just take another motherboard like this and uh, just replace it. You have the CPU fan over here and uh, this processor is entirely soldered onto the motherboard so you cannot just change the processor as you can see. So in a scenario you want to change the CPU fan only if the fan is not working you need to remove these screws here. take another CPU fan and replace it. So this my friends was a video showing you how to replace the DVD writer, keyboard, hard drive, RAM, motherboard, CMOS cell, Wi-Fi chip of the Dell Inspiron 3000 series that is a 3542 and 3543 uh, which is very popularly available here in India. Across globe also the same model and the same process applies for this particular model. Hope you liked the video if you want to buy anything uh, that is any spare of this particular uh, laptop do visit our website techstore.co.in